welcome, welcome. Thank you, family friends, for joining me at Maria Loves to Talk. You guys, how you doing? Wait a minute. Happy 2024. Happy New Year's, you guys, you guys, you guys and gals. I want to wish everybody uh, the best 2024, that your 2024 be better, three times better than your 2023. Joy, happiness, love, prosperity. I don't know, maybe you win the lotto. This is from uh, New York Post. Deaths a soldier and husband and two kids found deceased, deleted at Fort Stewart Army Base, ruled domestic in nature. And this is from November 17, 2023. A lot was going on uh, during the holidays. It's just weird how so much madness sadness goes on during the holidays okay so here the army identified the family of four that was found deceased at their military base in georgia uh staff sergeant mazina mazana t cooper and her husband desmond cooper were discovered alongside the bodies of their four-year-old and nine-year-old children at at the post fort stewart property past 2 p.m sad babies four years old and nine year olds pretty children didn't give them a chance didn't give the woman a chance to to leave i mean if, if the man if you depressed same thing with the fisher and the one case if you depressed you don't want to be here anymore you go you leave you go take a hike don't take them along they didn't they didn't ask for you to do that Loved ones identify the children as Juice and Desmond Jr. The grim discovery was made after Mazion Cooper unit requested a welfare check. Army officials have not disclosed the family's cause of death or perpetrated violence. Now, to a story we first told you about on Wednesday. The family found dead in a Fort Stewart home have been identified. Army officials tell News 3 the victims are Staff Sergeant Maziah Cooper, Desmond Cooper, and their children who were four and nine years old. Staff Sergeant Cooper joined the Army in October of 2012 and served as a culinary non-commissioned officer. Her awards included four Army Commendation Medals and six Army Achievement Medals. Authorities tell News 3 the early investigation points to the incident being quote domestic in nature and that I did see uh because you know i'm nosy i go on facebook and i saw a lot of people showing he was a car enthusiast he had a beautiful car that he i don't know if he actually fixed it up himself or he paid to get it fixed but it looked like he he loved uh sports cars so here our thoughts and prayers are with staff sergeant cooper's family friends and teammates uh, our community has been shaken by this unthinkable, unspeakable tragedy. And out of respect to the family, we ask for privacy to grieve their loss. According to Army officials, Mazia Cooper was a decorated culinary non-commissioned officer who had joined the military ranks in October 2012. So she'd been there since October 2012, moving up the ranks. He also had been um, in the... Um, the military but he got out i don't know if he got out if it, if he just got out of it was um he was forced out so here they say staff sergeant cooper was remembered by fellow soldiers as the best work mom anyone could ever ask for her awards included four army commendation medals and six army achievement medals her her fellow soldiers mourn her as a dedicated and caring co-worker with one affectionately dubbing her the best work mom anyone could ever ask for. Okay, here's someone say you showed up, you showed up for us when you didn't have to. You made sure you helped us with any goals and accomplishments that we wanted to pursue in the military. You were there for us when it came to our personal problems. You were a mentor, a mom, but a friend to us inexperienced soldiers soldier makila green Warren on facebook boy it's giving me goosebumps nice looking family the man desmond nice looking too so here they saying um an army spokesperson told the post that desmond cooper was a prior service veteran but declined to elaborate on his service conditions for discharge 
Despite the domestic ruling, officials have not yet indicated whether the incident will be considered a crime. Fort Stewart is the biggest Army post east of the Mississippi River and is located about 40 miles southwest of Savannah. The family's death is the latest in a string of tragic deaths to swarm the Army base. Pretty kids. Just cute little kids. So, prayers go out to uh, Miss Cooper again and the babies. Somebody, a creature from the Black Lagoon, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, um, decided to get up after this woman and work all day long. He didn't been pacing all day long what he was going to do and took the whole family out. You, me, whoever, the only person made the decision to bring people home, to take you home, to take you upstairs to heaven is the man up, upstairs. You don't get that right. You don't have that right to tell somebody that, oh, today's the day, Dashika, Louise, John Wayne, I'm going to take you out. Take yourself for the hike. These babies didn't ask to come here. They, you, they didn't, you, that was not your right to do that. So I don't know if this dude was dealing with mental health issues, but it's just weird to me how these people have are selective. Why didn't he destroy his car? Why didn't he take the car and drive it into the lake, into the river? Why didn't he get a, I don't know, a hammer, or a caterpillar, or whatever you call the machine that punches the, the cars at the uh, wreckage shop? Why didn't you do that? They're very selective. That's why I, I really say a lot of cases, I'm getting time people is using a mental card because I know people who have been mentally depressed or whatever, and they didn't take out anybody. And it's almost like a, um, a disrespect to these people to just, when these folks commit these crimes, oh, it's a mental card. The poor woman didn't even have a, a, a chance, a choice. He, he just made it for them. Uh, do you tell a woman that when your man is has lost his job or he's dealing with issues, uh, do you tell her to leave him? Do you, I mean, because everybody don't diminish their family. Don't diminish their wife or girlfriend. That's a lot of men or, and women who have been depressed or whatnot or maybe schizophrenia or bipolar. They didn't diminish, delete their family. So I don't know if, if that's something we should tell women. Oh, your man is going through issues. Just get out of the house, take the kids and leave them. It's sad. Prayers go out to the, the, the families.